Welcome to quality performance. Let's start off by defining quality. Quality is the ability of goods to meet the specific needs of customers. So we can say we produce quality if the specific needs of customers have been met. What's the difference between quality assurance and quality control? They both have to do with inspection of goods, but the main difference between quality assurance and quality control is that with quality assurance, the inspection is done during and after the production process, whereas quality control is only done on the final product. So that's the main difference between the two. Assurance is done during and after, but uh, quality control is only done on the final product, so at the end. So we control the final product. All right, quality performance. The easiest way to remember quality performance for uh, exam questions is that with quality performance, each department uh, must be looked at. We cannot say we are performing uh, if only certain departments uh, are doing well. All the departments must be doing well, and then we can say we have quality performance. So it's the measuring of the total performance of each department against specified uh, standards. So for exam purposes, these would be your keywords, each department. Each department has to perform in order for us to have quality performance. All right, uh, now we come to quality management. Now, quality, there's a difference between quality management and total quality management. Again, uh, let's just read those definitions. Quality management are techniques or tools that are used to improve the quality of products. I'm going to come back to that. Whereas with total quality management, we have continuously improving processes and systems to satisfy customers beyond expectation. All right, so with quality management, please note that the focus is on the quality of products, right? Whereas with total quality management, the focus is on customer satisfaction. So that will also be useful for exam questions. You know it's quality management if we are improving the quality of the product, uh, but you know that it's uh, total quality management if we are improving the satisfaction of the customers beyond expectation. All right. So what are the benefits of quality management in reducing costs? So in other words, how could good quality management help us to reduce cost? Here are some suggestions. If there's good quality management, then the resources and time will be used efficiently. Secondly, customers will be satisfied. So this customer satisfaction will lead to more sales. Thirdly, we can get a bigger market share. And if we have a bigger market share, profitability, it's part of it, will also increase. So those are some of the benefits uh, of good quality management in reducing costs. What happens then if there's poor total quality management? What will be the consequence of poor total quality management? Number one, we'll be setting unrealistic deadlines that we cannot that cannot be achieved. There will be a decline in productivity because there will be stoppages. Yes, if uh, we don't have proper quality management systems, you know, we do something and then we realize that we didn't do it right and then we must stop, start all over again. So that could happen if there's poor implementation of total quality management. All right, now let's look at the five total manage, uh, quality management elements. 